Hello fellow friends and respected professors. My name is Sharma Aryavardhan and uh, today I am going to explain you what is the meaning of a bistable multivibrator, the working of a bistable multivibrator and its application and uses. So first of all, before I explain you what is the what is the working and the meaning of a bistable multivibrator, let us first draw the circuit of a bistable multivibrator. For that, we are going to use the transistor DC547A transistor. Then we are going to need a few resistors, one power source. DC power source, ground, and switch of course, and we need port remaining, and the resistors. We are going to need four resistors. So let us start building the circuit. And uh, so, first of all, what I'm going to do is uh, just a second. yeah so now first what i'm going to do is i'm going to connect the emitter both the emitter of both the transistors to each other <coughs> <coughs> then we are going to need a power supply of 9 volt so i'm setting the dc power supply to 9 volt then we are going to need four resistor So here, uh, one resistor we are going to need over here. One resistor here. One resistor over here. Okay. This transistor and this transistor. We are going to need one more ground. So I'm just going to this. And we need to connect the switches here. So here I am going to connect the switch. complete the circuit we are going to join the ground okay so now our circuit is completed now i just have to change the parameters the values of the resistors and just make it Okay. So, 
and the other resistors are okay one k one k so now for taking the output we are going to use a cro oscilloscope we are going to use it here Going to use the other channel as well. Yes. I'm going to just move this up so that you can see the right. Okay, we are going to need a ground. So the circuit is pretty much done. So now I'm going to use two colors, two different colors for the output so that you can see the output properly. First is red. Second must be the green. Now let's run the okay so yes it's working and let me just reverse it so that you can see it properly yes. so now as you can see we are getting the square wave which was our original aim now as you can see here when i click space the this key switches and uh, one transistor's logic goes low and the other transistor's logic goes high and when i again press the key it comes back to its original state so here simulation project created by me now what is our aim first we should know what is our aim so that we can plan according to our aim here our aim is to simulate a square wave generator using transistorized bistable multivibrator. So first I'm going to explain you what is a bistable multivibrator. So bistable multivibrator have two stable states. That is why it is bistable, the meaning two. And maintain a given output state indefinitely unless an external trigger like a switch or like an external trigger which is provided with the CRO oscilloscope is applied forcing it to change its state. The bistable multivibrator can be switched over from one stable state to the other by the application of an external trigger pulse. Thus, it requires two external trigger pulses before it returns back to its original state. This I will explain you when I will show you the multisim circuit again. As bistable multivibrators have two stable states, they are commonly known as latches and flip flops for use in sequential type circuits. So now you must be wondering what is the meaning of sequential type circuits. Okay, so when you have two circuits and you have to perform it in a sequence first like you have two circuits and for some time you want the current to be passed through the first circuit and you want the output from the first circuit and after that you want the output from the second circuit. So there you can use the multi bistable multivibrator as a latch or as a flip flop you can say and as we have used here. We, as we have used there, you can be, you can use the bistable multivibrator there as well. The discrete bistable multivibrator is a two-state non-regenerative device constructed from two cross-coupled transistors operating as on-off transistor switches. In each of the two states, one of the transistor is cut off while the other transistor is in saturation. This means that the bistable circuit is capable of remaining indefinitely in either stable state, which is true, and I will be showing you the. So here, this is the bistable multivibrator circuit. This is from a reference electronics tutorials which I have used. After this, this is the image of the circuit which I have made in my multi-sim. This is my output waveform. 
and uh, here this is my working now let's understand the working of the bistable multi vibrator for when i be explaining you i should show you the my uh, multi sync circuit as well so that you will be able to understand it better Oops. let me just Here, the bistable multi vibrator circuit is stable in both the states. Let's check if it's true. So, as you can see, here it is true. The both the states are stable Q1 and Q2, either with one transistor off and the other on, or with the first transistor on and the second off. Let's suppose that the switch is in the left position, position A, which means this is right now. Now it's in the left position. The base of transistor Q1 will be grounded and it is in its cutoff region producing an output at V out. That would mean that the transistor Q2 is on as its base is connected to VCC through the series combination of resistors R1 and R2. As transistor Q2 is on, there will be zero output at V out, the opposite or inverse of V out. If the switch is now moved to the right position B, transistor Q2 will switch off and transistor Q1 will switch on through the combination of resistors R3 and R4 resulting in an output at V out and zero output at V out, the reverse of the above. Then we can say that one stable state exists when transistor Q1 is on and Q2 is off, switch position A. When another stable state exists when transistor Q1 is off and Q2 is on, switch position B. So now, what I have written here, let us let me explain that, okay? So here right now the switch is in position A. So the Q1 transistor will be on and the Q2 transistor will be in saturation. So let us see, let us simulate. And as you can see, I have used the red color for the output and here, this is the Q1. So this is Q2 and this is Q1. So here Q1 is currently high and q2 is currently in saturation and when i'll click the switch again when i'll press the switch q2 should be on and q1 should be in saturation which is again true here q2 is high and q1 is in saturation now let me show you something else as well Okay, now as you can see here, uh, when I press the switch, the logic of the Q2 is going low. At the same time, the logic of Q1 is going high. So this was the meaning of here, which I have said that when you press the switch, one Q, the Q1 transistor or one of the transistor will go on the high logic and the other transistor will go on low logic, which is what I meant. And now, as you can see, the other thing which we can control is the interval of this square wave. Here, as you can see that the interval on the square waves are different, not the same. When we use a function generator and we generate a square wave, their interval length won't be, their interval length will be same. We can't change the interval length. Here, you can change the interval length according to your desired output. Other thing, yes, so that is pretty much it. There's nothing else which uh, I, sh which is remaining to explain. So let's see. Okay. So bistable multi vibrators can produce a very short output pulse or a much longer rectangular shaped output whose leading edge rises in time with the extremely with the externally applied trigger pulse and whose trailing edge is dependent upon a second trigger pulse as shown below. So again, when I will, when I'll press the switch two times, it will again uh, retain its original set. Like here, Q1 is on and Q2 is off, right? So one first I'll press the switch, then Q2 will go high and Q1 will go low. And again, after when I again press the switch, Q1 will again gain its original state and Q2 will again gain its original state. So this was and here as you can see this is a very short output pulse. And 
this right here let me just simulate it okay pause So now this is a longer which is said here. Here, this is a longer rectangular shaped output whose leading edge rises in time with the externally applied trigger pulse. When I press the switches, it goes high, it goes low. That's it. Now let's understand its application and uses. The bistable multi vibrator is used in digital communication. It is also used for reversing to the supply to a given circuit at rectangular at regular intervals. Thus, multi vibrators are very significant electronic devices used in an ample range of applications. It, it is used in different storage devices and for counting of binary numbers. For frequency division in different circuit, it is used for the production of different clock pulses and it is used for different relay controller as well. So here I would like to uh, I would like to end my presentation here and thank you and I hope that you have understood the working the meaning and the application and uses of a bi-stable multi-vibrator thank you